leak code problem 163 missing ranges. So in this problem, you are given um, a method with a signature that has three parameters. The first parameter is an array of numbers. The second is an integer that's the lower number and the third parameter parameter is an integer that's the upper number. And so what you're supposed to print out is every number um, from the lower to the upper that is not included in this array. So for example, here the lower number is 0 and the upper number is 99. So I'm going to go from 0, counting by 1s, up to 99. And I'm going to say these are the numbers that are not included in this array here. And so you don't have to list every single number. When there's a range of numbers that are missing, you're going to output it with this arrow pointing to the next number. So uh, the other cases are is if uh, the array is blank, you're going to print out um, the lower and the upper with the arrow between because that's the range that's missing. Um, another edge case is if there's one number in it, you're going to output nothing because there's no missing ranges. And here, if the lower number is negative 2 and the upper number is negative 1, and you already include the upper number, the only thing you're missing here is going to be negative 2. Okay, so um, for this problem, um, it's really kind of easy. What we have to do is, well, first, the first thing we have to do is um, deal with the edge cases, which is uh, where the array is empty. Um, the second thing we're going to do is um, look at the beginning of the array and um, add a range or number to beginning of output. And so that would be, for instance, if, um, say, in our, the beginning of our array, um, the lower one is negative 2 and our uh, nums here starts at 0, we would want to add that beginning array of negative 2 to negative 1. Um, the third one here we would want to do is look at the middle. And that is um, from the 0 to the um, length minus 1. And see if those are included in nums. And if not, we're going to add it to our output. And then the fourth thing we're going to do is look at the end of the array and um, see if the length minus 1 number is um, less than the upper number. And then if it is, we're going to append that the range, the missing range. All right, so first thing what we have to do is we'll just uh, initialize our answer because our um, solution requires a list of strings. So let's call this answer, and it's just going to be a new array list. So again, let's see our edge case where um, nothing in nums. What we're going to do, say, is if our nums length equals 0, we will um, Um, 
um, we're going to add a number that is um, lower. Plus upper. And since there's several times that we're going to be adding um, a lower and an upper and adding this arrow in between, I might be smart to just make another method that formats them. So if we just format one number and another number, we could just say, um, we're going to return a string s that starts off as nothing. And um, we can return So, but if um, we have this lower range and then um, they're the same, we could just say if one is um, equal to two, we're going to just return. Um, and this is kind of an easy way that's not the best or most efficient way um, to convert an integer to string but I'm just having a string here and then I'm saying it's s plus one but syntactically it's very easy to read so that will format and so we could just pass here uh, format beginning of the array we could say okay if the lower number we're given is less than the first number um, we're gonna have to put an array at the beginning and we'll add that to our answer list and we're gonna format um, the lower number and we're not going to want to include the number that's in our array. We're going to want to include um, the number there. And we're going to just minus one from it. And then we're going to do our middle. So we'll go through every one in our middle. Four, we already checked i, but we're going to just start at i, right? i equals zero, i less than nums. This is nums here. Length minus one, i plus plus. I'm going to say, so here is our middle. So we're going to say if the number um, that's in front of our number, so if it's the next number is equal to, if it's nums i plus one, so if it's the next number, we're going to just continue. And so, I mean, the way we're going to continue is up here. So one thing you could do if you want to make sure your continue is going up to a certain loop, we're going to say something like um, go here. You can put a colon and then you can just say continue go, go here. <clears throat> so if the number, if the next number is equal to our number plus one. So say we're here at zero, and then 
the next number is 1, which is here, we're just going to keep going to the next. And if it's not, what we're going to do is uh, format it and add it to our array. So we could just say string s equals format. We're going to format our nums i plus 1. And the next number, we're going to look to the next number because what we're going to do is we're going to say like here it's going to be 4 because we want nums i plus 1 would be 4 here and then we're going to take 50 and we don't want to include 50. We want to include 49. So we're going to say nums i plus 1. So that's 50 and this example and we're just going to minus 1 there. And that's that. And then when we get s back, we're just going to say answer add s. And then at the end of the array, we're going to say um, if our given upper is, I'm sorry, if it's greater than the last number in our array, and the last number of our array would be the nums length minus one. That would be my, no, minus one. Okay. So if our last number is greater than the last number in our array, what we are going to do is just again, make another string with format of um, we're going to get the last number in our array which is that it's the last number in our array so say nums length minus one that's the last number in our array we're going to add one to it and then we're going to also add the upper number. We're going to format the upper number to it. And I'm going to just say answer add s. And then if we get through all of that, we are just going to return our answer. So let me just run that code and see what we get. <clears throat> so that's correct. Um, but we can check our edge cases. Um, so say here we are going to start with like a negative two. That will be our lower. And then our upper will be zero. So that's accepted because the first number in our array is zero. But when we are dealing with our beginning, the lower number is negative two. It's less than zero. So we send it off to format. And we're going to say uh, format one plus two. Um, right, and so we have num0 minus 1, so we're formatting 0 minus 1, which would be negative 1. Um, this probably will run faster if we can just cut this part here, and we can just add it like that. But I think it's easier to read like this. Um, also, if you wanted to see what's happening at each point, um, you can do system out print. We do it on print line, not just print. Um, nums i plus one. Nums i. I'm just going to say end. Um, so 
so for here you can see um, these are the parts where you're saying okay the next number that's in this middle section is not equal to the this number plus one so that would be three and one um, that would be 50 and 3 and 75 and 50 so you could see these are where we are sending this off to format and we format it by saying 3 plus 1 which is 4 um, or even 2 is right here and, and 2 gets added in because we could see that one the one after it is only just one more so we only we're not adding a range we're just missing one um, but you could play around with that if you wanted to and just see the different ones the other thing is you don't need this thing where it says go here you can just write continue but it does the same thing I'm going to just put up all the code now, and that should be it. Okay, that's the whole answer.